Hello, I'm Wiala. Thank you for watching Music News. <laughs>
other uh, 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 more commercial things. But before that, I want to contribute my quarter to my community. If I can help in any small way by voicing out certain things, I'll do it. Definitely. Yeah. And I mean, you've been compared to Grace Jones, Angelique Jones. Yes. So they, they, you know, they I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, these these are great ladies, and I love them. They're strong. They do their thing, their own way. And I think I just remind people of these great women. In a way, it's good. Because they are great. People respect them. When you mention names like Grace Jones, Angelique, people go like, yes. And they say it with respect. So I'm like, hmm, maybe one day, one of these days, when I also say, hey, people will listen. So it will go a long way to help me and my community and all that. But at the end of the day, I always say, I'm just me, I'm Wiala. And uh, I just... Yeah. I'm just <laughs> doing my thing, you know you but I don't mind being compared because I, I see it as a compliment, it's good. Absolutely, yeah. I mean I interviewed uh, Angelica Jo quite recently, a lovely lady, very yes. strong, strong vision of what yeah. she wants to achieve. Do you yeah. have a clear picture of your ambitions as well? Well, um, to be very, very honest, I, I, I think I do. It's just that as I move on, I don't know what will happen, so I can't predict. Uh, there's a saying again in my local dialect that nobody knows tomorrow. Um, for me, I want to do music, use, uh, just get on the stage, entertain people, and no matter how I'm entertaining, there should be something in my music that can enlighten somebody about something, something positive, especially the young ones. Uh, say one or two things in my songs that will change somebody's life for the better. So that's what I'm, uh, 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 I'm aiming and um, I want to go as far as I can and just like my manager called me <laughs> young lioness I'm just hunting and entertaining so I can't really say where I'll get to but wherever I get to because nobody knows tomorrow I'll get there but I just pray that um, it's good <laughs> yeah, sure it yes I mean you have come a long way from a small village in Ghana yeah. when you were, born. were you always determined to find your voice through music uh, yes, in in a, in a very strange little way, <laughs> a small voice. Oh, please, I'm here. Let me <laughs> sing. I beg you, can I? Then I started. Let me sing. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I want to sing. Okay, now I'm here. Nobody's gonna stop me. <laughs> so it's like small, small, small. Then I got there. I've, I've, um, I do things, and I try to stand out. Even as a child, I didn't know I was always competing. Now I understand that. Okay, I think that was a bit too much. I'm always competing to do certain things. Uh, to stand out little did i know it was like big time competition and just small small things whilst others probably let's say the girls will be playing with dolls and all that i'm somewhere trying to make a car from a milk tin <laughs> doing things with the boys instead of <laughs> just being a no. and um christmas days i prefer trousers i want my jeans and my shirt and I used to love the JC, the football t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. And for some weird reason, my father didn't complain. He got that one for me. <laughs> my sisters all had dresses with ribbons. I just wanted to be like this. Yo, yo. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you came into the public consciousness through the reality and talent shows back in Ghana, part of the band Black and Peach. Yes. How did that first form get together? <sighs> that was my fourth year. Uh, before I had auditioned and gone through reality shows three years in a row. Ah. I kept going and coming back. First time it was a no. Second time I was on standby. Uh, that was first year. Second year I was on standby. Third year I made it to the finals. I didn't win. And fourth year I was in a group and I won. <laughs> hands down. But the group, I didn't know any of my uh, group members really. We were just grouped according to how you sang. So my voice was ah, okay. a bit stronger, so they got a guy and, an, and another lady to support. So I was like vocalist of the group. The girl was supposed to be face of the group because she was very girly <laughs> and all that. <laughs> and the guy was just there to blend the two of us. So, But after one year, it wasn't working. <laughs> Some of us are just too stubborn and too, more, uh, too much of the solo act was in me and my style was just so different it wasn't going to work so after a year i fulfilled the contract it said after a year you can go solo so i waited a year whilst i was recording quietly secretly somewhere 
And after one year, boom, I came out with my first single, Rock My Body, the Follow by Make Me Dance. Done well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but when did you start singing as a child then? And what, and what music did you first start singing? Um, I started singing um, foreign songs. Foreign songs <laughs> in English. Ah. All my songs I wrote were in English. But the producer and manager I met after senior high school said, that sounds too international. My pocket money cannot uh, produce that. Can you do something more traditional uh, just with it? And I was like, hmm, well, uh, one can always start somewhere. You don't just have to start big. Let me start gradually. Maybe one day I'll get to sing in English. Then I found out that Sisali, my own language, was even f m uh, flexible and more interesting too. And it had that international appeal. So I started singing in Sisali Wali, and that was how I started going like, wow, now, whoa, that's something I could add to my English uh, songs. So I found my other uh, 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 language, um, uh, my traditional music coming from the Sisala. So yeah, that's how I started. Oh, makes uh, sense. Yeah. Very nicely too. Um, you design a lot of your stage dresses and jewellery. How, how, do you, how would you describe your look and your sort of on-stage persona? Well, um, hmm, do I have a word for it? Uh, now I'm going to say, um, when it comes to my clothing, I'm a bit of a control freak, small, just small. I wear other designers' clothing, but there's always something like, uh, if only I could do this to this part, or maybe if I could, then one day I decided to cut one of the dresses <laughs> to actually fit my body. Because I just felt like, okay, some of the ladies are big around the waist. I'm not, I'm a bit masculine. So maybe why don't I just wear something that will look good on this body? Instead of wearing the, okay, I'm not that, I don't have shankus and all that, as they say. So I decided to cut the dress to fit, and it worked. Since then, I've been designing what will look good on my legs and showcase my muscles since I have all this. <laughs> I felt like, well, let me use that as my selling point. So I just deviated from the normal fashion for all the female artists, and I went for a more androgynous look. I cut my hair. I've always loved short hair. If I have long hair after two days, I get bored. So I went for this look and it just, my face was more like, uh -huh, now that is the look I want. Yeah, and yeah. immediately everybody was like, who is that? Who is that girl with the pokemono and all that? I got a lot of names, but I'm loving it. Excellent. Yeah. Um, you're also here to play WOMAD Festival. How are you feeling about that? Ah. <laughs> it's like I'm dreaming. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe it. I'm. I'm uh, from Wano to Europe, uh, UK. Phew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm still lot of uh, like I'm lost of words. I. I'm really really excited. I can't wait to perform. I can't wait to get on that stage and just roar, rah, rah, <laughs> like that. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> It's like when I get on the stage, then I'll know what, I, then everything will come naturally. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I don't, sure. I don't, sometimes, a, a lot of the times I don't plan too much of what I'll do. If I plan too much, I tend to hold back. But when I just go allow the feeling from the crowd, the band, and the atmosphere, then I go wild. <laughs> yeah, well, we look forward to that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're very proud uh, from where you're from. What's mm. the best thing about Ghana? For you? Oh, hospitality. We are very friendly. No, even if there's a problem in the house, they say the family has a big problem and a stranger walks in, everybody will smile. Until the stranger goes, nobody will fight. To the, to the extent that if the stranger stays for long, there's a likelihood that the family will get back together because, okay, the stranger came, we are not fighting anymore, so we are just... Um, happy so people tend to forgive and forget by the time the person goes it's solved if not completely so the hospitality and um, be nice to people because we believe if you meet a stranger and they are in need you help them because you don't know where you also go tomorrow and you'll be in need so that hospitality you must have it it yeah, is a yeah. must in the culture so That's a good philosophy yeah who are you listening to these days oh everybody Everybody. Once the music hits me and I like it, I like it. 
it can be reggae rap even though i'm not a good rapper yet maybe i'll try <laughs> yo 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 <laughs> but um i'm more of a melodic uh, melodious person i love melody yeah, so if the song is very the melody is good it will just catch me it doesn't matter the language i'll just get into it yes everybody everybody so thanks a lot for your time it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you very for much somebody just getting into Viana, yeah. which three songs of yours would you say check these out these totally sum me up ah uh, i'll go for tinambai rock my body because it brings out the naughtiness in me <laughs> yeah even though i sing about goody 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 there's a little <laughs> naughty part about me <laughs> my co my more commercial side tinambai rock my body and siko siko is the mixture of the pop with my traditional music Tinambai is more of who I am like that is I'm loud I'm a talkative I'm not shy yeah, you might see good. me smiling but I'm not really shy <laughs> <laughs> fantastic anything else to yeah. say to music news watches well um if you want to listen to my music go online wiala www.wiala.com facebook I'm Noella Wiala instagram I'm Wiala on twitter I'm at Wiala just Google Wiala. I'm the only Wiala at the moment on Google. W-I-Y-A-A-L-A. -A -A -A. Check me out. Let's have fun. Wherever you are, give me a call. And I'll be there to rock your body. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> All right. A pleasure. Thank you. Thank you too.